Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Dear my student, this time I'd like to explain uh, the assignment for ujian akhir semester ya, your final test. And I'd like to share the material with the title Focus the Locus of Your Research. Yeah. There are several points to ponder for your happy was yeah happy final exam the first is the problems yeah research gap and theoretical contribution at least there is keresahan academic yeah uh, there is no exact translation maybe academic anxiety yeah jadi keresahan akademik maksudnya ada celah penelitian atau ada hal-hal yang memang pantas untuk diteliti jadi bukan mengulang-ulang apa yang sudah dikerjakan orang lain, tetapi ada sesuatu yang novel atau sesuatu yang baru. Ya. The second is locus or predicted respondent, participants or source of data, written or oral text. Ya. Uh, jadi uh, coba nanti bayangkan respondennya siapa, partisipannya siapa. Jadi setelah, after you have writing down the mini research proposal, containing your theoretical basis or, or the underlying theories and now you should uh, focus your locus yeah focus on the respondent participants yeah uh, it can be imagine participants or the plan respondent or participant of your mini research yeah and then the third problem statement at least two problem statement and And then underlying theory, underlying theories, methods, and references. Yeah, I give you example. Yeah, give you example. Research on autonomous learning of teaching speaking on students. Yeah, the problem statements or research gap. Yeah, uh, for several years there has been an appreciation and huge awareness pertaining to the importance of autonomy of learning and the role of individual and group learners in leading their process of learning inside and on, outside the classroom. Nevertheless, in real teaching and learning process, it is not always feasible how to encourage and develop learners dealing with this role and how to ensure they are ready to perform it. Yeah. Yeah. Jadi ini uh, masalah autonomous learning itu sudah banyak dibahas, tetapi dalam prakteknya Uh, the focus will be uh, how to encourage and develop learners dealing with this role and how to ensure they are ready to perform it. This is the points that uh, rarely discussed. Yeah. And then dealing with the teaching of speaking, speaking is considered one of the most difficult among the four skills of English. I find I found out in elicit.org from Kilak Jani, Bosni, and Paner Selvam and Muhammad, yeah. Speaking skill is a key part of language learning and teaching, but teaching speaking has been underemphasized, yeah. And then oral language development has largely been neglected in the foreign language classroom. And then among the various speaking skills, the most difficult for English as second language learners is motivation and confidence, yeah. And then the participant are 20 students of ICP program batch 2022 in State Islamic University of Arwin Saladiga. Yeah. And the age of the participants range between 19 and 20 years old. The problem statement, there are two problem statements. The first, how is the process of student autonomous English learning process before and after the implementation of drama performance in the class? Then what are the strengths and the weakness of the use of drama to improve autonomous English learning process of students? And then underlying theories, I have mentioned that uh, autonomous learning has been appreciated. There is there has been appreciation and great awareness of the importance of autonomous learners and the role of individual and group learners in leading their process of learning inside and inside the classroom. It is mentioned by Fuentes, 2010, Anita, 2016, and Godwin June, 2011. Nevertheless, in actual teaching and learning, it is not always feasible how to encourage and develop learning dealing with this role and how to ensure they are ready to perform it. 
This paper develops some pedagogical aspect related to developing the autonomy of English learners. It proposed a framework of models and skills that educators could use to improve student autonomous learning responsibility. Although this framework was elaborated and enhanced in the English language teaching context, its underlying theories apply to all walks of educational setting. The learners and learning-centered method and approaches have a considerable and influential role in today's teaching and learning process. In short, learners are viewed as active interpreters and processors of knowledge who look for knowledge and competence based on their orientation and need, needs. Nimik and Rian, 2009, Kang, 2015, Padma Dewi, 2016, Kocha and Kocha, 2003, Kamberi, 2013. Yeah. And then uh, dealing with the theories of uh, autonomous learning, according to Fine and Collins, 2014, there are three uh, critical arguments. First, autonomous learners are more efficient and effective for learners. And then being autonomous means the learner is a lifelong learner who can manage his learning process and has the responsibility of information and knowledge mastery. The third, an, auton an autonomous learner implies active and mindful participation in the community, which leads to further community development on more significant quality and results in an individual communal appreciation. Yeah, it is Trang 2016, Fine and Collins 2014. And then the topic of the autonomy at, at, of learners is widely discussed and acknowledged among social scientists and observers, but perhaps to its complex and myriad quality, the autonomy of learners in speaking skill has not been studied widely up to the present day. According to Carson, 2000, 2012, Talkowska, Wojciechowska, 2015, Hauk, 2006. In order to achieve the best result in learning, learners need to be made aware of their purpose of learning and how to develop it. From this perspective, it does not mean that by implementing autonomous learning, the teacher's suggestion and backup are unnecessary. In contradiction, the educator's role may alter, preferring to be a mediator than the master of wisdom that always convey information to students. Undeniably, by utilizing classroom living activities, Educators can guide them to be aware and learn to revitalize their individual and group independent skill. It is impossible for learners to master the resolution of, for instance, who, what, what to learn or how, unless they have some encouragement to perform all the learning objectives and are enthusiastic about their learning process. According to Little, 2007, and Lengkanawati, 2017. Yeah. Okay, dealing with the research method, this research was qualitative research using this creative method according to Creswell 2012. The framework of this research used the assumption that learners not only work independently, but in cooperation in the social group. The data were collected by observation, documentation, and giving questionnaire to the research subject. The questionnaire were given before and after the use of drama performance in the class, according to Miles Superman. 1994. In this study, the researcher analyzed the student oral production in the process of implementing drama speaking class in terms of verbal component of drama, pronunciation, fluency, articulation, and accuracy, or grammar and vocabulary, Cardin Brown, 2001. The subject of this research was ICP, International Class Program of UIN Salatiga, page 2022 and 2023 which consists of 20 students. The subject was proposedly chosen using purposive sampling, Bogdan and Bilken, 1982, since it was considered the best class and expected to follow the learning activity more attractively than other regular classes. The researcher used instruments such as scoring sheet for students speaking performance, recording, and, and transcription. In this qualitative research, the researcher analyzed the student application of verbal components of trauma in terms of articulation, pronunciation, fluency, and accuracy, grammar, and vocabulary. In analyzing the data, the researcher and another writer, an English lecturer, tried to investigate the student's speaking production by using drama to avoid subjectivity. Okay, uh, that's all my presentation dealing with uh, the use of drama to improve uh, the speaking skills, yeah? by having autonomous learning of the students. I hope it will be beneficial for all of us. 
Thank you very much. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.